welcome to Get the Facts, the program that provides you with information on government's policies and initiatives. I'm your host, Enthros Campbell. The Jamaica Constabulary Force, the JCF, one year ago launched the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch, PSTEB. Now, the objective is to improve the safety of citizens as well as restore and to maintain public order. To tell us about the measures being used to curb the indiscipline on our roads and in the public spaces in general is Gary McKenzie, who is Superintendent of Police in the Public Safety and Traffic Enforcement Branch. SP McKenzie, thank you so much for joining us and Get the Facts. Thank you for having me. Okay. So that's a big title that, you, that your department has, your, your branch. Tell us, what do you mean by public order and safety? What are we talking about here? Well, what we are talking about as we speak about safety is it is all encompassing because it, it says that we are responsible to ensure that citizens are able to go about their business safely. That is, we have to ensure that they come to no harm. And the branch itself looks at dealing with this on the roadways within business districts within other public areas such as transportation, hubs, and so on. As it relates to order, um, this has to be done within an organized way. And so in terms of managing traffic flow, in terms of ensuring that their citizens come to no harm whilst they do their business, that is what we are about. Excellent. So tell me about some of the measures that you use to achieve order and safety. Well, certainly enforcement plays a big role, but even before we do that, ensuring that we are out there being visible, uh, putting on this management posture and ensuring that persons recognize what we are about is very important. Mm -hmm. And this, of course, in increase the confidence that the public will have as it relates to how we police. Once things are not in order, then we have to take control, we have to educate, we have to enforce the laws where necessary to ensure that this is maintained. How do you educate? Well, certainly we do that through um, media, we do that through collaboration with other entities. We have our road safety unit that goes within schools. We also go within communities. Our, of course, we collaborate with other geographic entities or widely publicized meetings, stakeholder meetings, and so on. So we educate persons through those media. What are some of the violations that um, pedestrians, people general in, in open spaces and on the road, what are some of the violations that people can be ticketed for? Well, as it relates to pedestrians, you know, we really can't take any, um, you know, law enforcement action in terms of issuance of tickets. But what we find is that we have quite a few accidents involving pedestrians because of lack of proper usage on our roads, uh, meaning that they sometimes cross at corners in front and behind large vehicles. And so education is key in terms of ensuring that our pedestrians understand how, how to use the road safely. Um, there are other breaches committed by drivers of motor vehicles in in that they fail to observe and stop at pedestrian crossings. Some are very discourteous. And so where they commit breaches, um, we prosecute. For example, if they fail to observe and stop at a pedestrian crossing, that is an offense and we deal with that. But our vigilance and enforcement helps to ensure that uh, persons are able to safely use our thoroughfare. Mm, yes. When, when PSEB was launched last August, it was um, National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang said that you had a, um, a few roles that he wanted you to zero in, such as limiting, limiting access to, to, to roadways of, our, of criminals, also to cut down um, road accidents and um, um, track the threat of criminals. How, 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 how is that going? How do you grade yourself on, on those? Well, I areas? think that we have had a substantial effect, certainly within um, the Kingston and um, region. We have been able to occupy our main supply routes and by virtue of our presence. And when we speak about presence, we speak of active presence. So our 
vehicular checkpoints, our patrol of the areas, our checking of documents and licenses, running it through our police emergency to check for warrants, um, to check if these persons are wanted, have allowed us to deter the movement of criminals. We continue to do that. Of course, it is very important to note that at PSTEB, there are a number of strategies that we use, um, and that, of course, includes our motorcycle patrols that we deal with traffic management, interception mm -hmm. of vehicles. Um, we also have our foot patrols within the public spaces, such as the business districts. We have our, our highway safety patrols. And we have our bicycle patrols as well to go in and you out. You have bicycle those. patrols? I'm not seeing those. We do, we yes. do. And um, so we, we continue to use those methodologies to support and assist um, within uh, our very uh, tight areas in terms of where the public um, traverse. Yeah. You did say something about major supply routes. What right. Are those? Well, um, those routes are really our main arterial roads where we have commercial activities, we have um, the movement of buses and, okay. and so on. So these roads are very important to us as a country yes. because um, you know they traffic uh, vehicles that carry supplies in and out of the corporate area yes. and across yes. the country. Yes. Um, criminals like to use speed to move about and so on. So we slow them down this way and um, we continue to use other strategies yes. to ensure yes. Yes. that persons are safe. Okay, unruly drivers, illegal um, taxi drivers, illegal stopping, illegal starting, what methods are you using to, to, to address these issues? Well, there are a multiplicity of methods that we use. One is that our presence out there deters some of them. Um, we also enforce. Uh, we have to, of course, send the message across through education. But I want to say that in recent times, we have been getting some very good help from the public in terms of taking photos yes. of some of these persons because you know that um, as much as we like, we can't be on every street, but certainly it gives us the ability to be proactive as well. Yeah. So the areas that we know that those offenses, um, they are great, there is a greater probability of them occurring there, then it assists us in informing us as to where we are to place persons yes. and so on. Yes. We try to be fluid and we try to ensure that we listen to citizens. So we are always grateful of the feedback of the suggestions and we listen to those and we act as well. Right, how can we give you feedback? Where, where, where do we send the feedback? Where do we call? Well, the feedback can come through police emergency. It can also come to Peace Tab headquarters yes. at 928-1162. Um, you know, it can also go through the media houses. They have our contacts and they will get those messages to us. Excellent, excellent. We take a break now and continue with a focus on the capacity of Peace Tab to carry out its duties. Stay with us. Did you know that you can apply for a copy of your birth certificate online or by visiting any of the Registrar General's department offices listed on their website? For ease of processing, there are several things you need to know about the person or child whose birth certificate you are applying for. Here's a checklist. Ensure you know the correct name and spelling of the person, as well as their mother and father. You will need their date and place of birth, which is usually the name of the hospital or location they were born. Parish of birth is also important. Find out also the birth entry number, along with the date and place of registration for the adult or child. Remember, for additional information on how you can apply for a copy of your birth certificate or someone else's, contact the Registrar General's Department today.
welcome back to Get the Facts. We continue our discussion with Superintendent of Police, Gary McKenzie of the Public Safety Added Traffic Enforcement Branch, PSTEP. Thank you for staying with us. Let's be McKenzie. PSTEP recently got 80 motorbikes. How will this help in your operations? Well, certainly this will greatly enhance our visibility. We will also be strategically placing them across areas where we term bad spots. Um, these are areas where we have had fatal accidents occurring. We will also utilize them to enhance our ability to further deter the movement of criminals and to ensure mm -hmm. that persons traversing our, our public thoroughfares are safe. Yes, you started with 700 members. How is that, how effective is that? And do you need more persons and would you get more persons? Well, the, we, we ensure that whatever numbers we have, we utilize them effectively. Um, sometimes it is not just about the numbers, but it is how effective you actually use them. That is one of the things that we can continue to work on daily. Um, as you are aware, there are a number of areas, there are a number of issues that we have to deal with. And so we prioritize and we judiciously place them to ensure that we get the best fit so that the public will see the benefits of it. Yes, your officers are specially trained, right? Can you tell us they a little are. about that, the training? Well, um, they have been trained in, in traffic management. Um, they have been trained in terms of identifying offenses and so on. One of the things they are also trained on is traffic surveillance and road safety issues. And so, we, we also have several other units. For example, there is the Accident Investigation and Reconstruction Unit mm -hmm. that uses scientific methodology to reconstruct accidents and give technical evidence in court. Mm -hmm. We have the Breathalyzer Unit. We have the Road Safety Unit. We have also our Data and Traffic Ticketing um, yeah. Department. Yeah. So. All of that come together, plus the officers who are out there on the streets yes. doing highway patrols, yes. motorcycle patrols, bicycle patrols, mm -hmm. and so on. So it is pretty much a comprehensive branch. Yes. As you talk about ticketing, there is complaint sometimes that sometimes I get a ticket and um, I go to court. I didn't I didn't go to pay at the tax office, but I go to court. And when I go to court, the, the, the cost on the ticket is a lot more than, I, than it was initially. What would be the reason for that? Well, one, when one gets a ticket, um, there's an option to pay or go to court. There is a set fine when a traffic ticket is issued. Once you get to court, that, you know, is handled by the judge. And um, from what I know, there is a range in terms of what can be charged and so on. So that's where the difference is. Right, so when you, if you don't pay the ticket at the tax office, and you go to court, um, you, you should be paying the same amount if you are if you are found guilty. Well, um, that of course is determined by the, the judge. judge. As I say, there is a range okay. in terms of the fines, yes. high and the low, yes, depending yes. on what the discussion yes, is yes. Um, at the court. Then that decision is made by the judge. Yes, yes. Let's talk a little bit more about public safety and and peace um, initiatives. Well, um, certainly. PSTEB, as was said earlier, yes. um, is a branch that deals with public safety mm -hmm. uh, and, of course, public order. And so when we talk about public safety, um, the branch has a wide reach. It started out within the corporate area, but it is seeking to expand across the entire country. And, um, of course, we have to ensure that persons are not only safe in terms of moving from one place to another, but there are also issues of ensuring that they come to no harm. And so our highway patrol, it is one of our versatile patrols because it deals with high visibility, ensuring that persons are confident that the police is there and they are able to access them, but also to prevent and detect criminal activity as also to ensure that there are no blockage are where the road traffic laws are breached, actions are taken. Yes. So we are responsible for that. On the other hand, the issue of public order, especially within our townships and business districts, uh, vendor management is, is one aspect. Um, we have to work along with other agencies to see, to, to actually 
look after infrastructure building. When you look, for example, at halfway tree in terms of accommodating the number of taxis and buses and so on, we have to plan and move ahead to ensure yes. that as we go along, there's this organization yes. that will help us to yes. see an orderly society. It's a difficult job, isn't it? <laughs> well, it is. Tell me, how do you see your branch, the JCF and, and Peace Deb, how do you see your role in, in helping Jamaica to maintain an orderly society, thus um, fostering an, an environment for growth? Well, it is a very important entity. In fact, um, we would regard it as the flagship as it relates to interfacing with the public and actually giving the public the confidence that the police is out there. When you look at their dress and so on, um, they are bright, they are out there, they are expected to be seen, they are expected to be active, and when they do so in a professional manner, um, the results are evident. Um, as we speak, persons are really very happy about how we have demonstrated yes. professionalism and effectiveness, especially with the back to school and so yes. on. And so we continue to work towards being that beacon that can lead the way in terms of giving the JCF yes. and Jamaica the kind yes. of face that it requires yes. to go to yes. the future. We are seeing some new initiatives on the police. For example, recently when we had a strike, you took the children to school, the students to school. You know, uh, you can see you helping people to, to do, uh, work on their car if it's broken down or so. So really the police is really doing a new thing. Tell me, it's one year later. What's the way forward for Peace Step? Well, the way forward is continue to develop the brand, continue to be better at what we do. Of course, technology, equipping ourselves, training, that, that is very important. We recognize that. Um, we also have to ensure that we listen to what the public says yes, because yes. service is important. Yeah, exactly. That is what a yes. national police force is about. Yes. We also recognize that it is not about enforcement, but a modern police force take into consideration social and economic development. So we see ourselves as participating in all these issues, and we believe that we can make a significant difference going Excellent. forward. And our role, how can we help you? Well, definitely. Firstly, we want Jamaica to recognize that the JCF and, of course, the branch, it is theirs. And so um, we want them to conform with the rule of law. We want them to police us as well. Um, we want them to recognize that it's very important that when things are not going good, they are able to speak about it and to act on it as well, contribute as a, as, as a citizen towards helping us to be orderly and to be lawful. Excellent, excellent. Thank you so very much. Thank it's you, you're welcome. Mackenzie. This has been Get the Facts with our guest Gary Mackenzie, Superintendent of Police of the Public Safety and the Traffic Enforcement Branch, Peace Step. Until next time, I'm Anthros Campbell. Take care. Mm -hmm.